Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Have you ever marked an invoice as send later and then wondered how will you know when it's going to send or how it's going to send or how you'll know to send it? The answer is, yeah, me too. Um, I'm just going to start with the end and then work backwards and show you where this is at. If you're trying to find your invoices that you marked as send later, make your way over to the all sales tab. For statuses, you can say all statuses. That doesn't matter. For delivery method, you want to click the drop down and select send later. That's going to show you the invoices you've queued for send later. Now, if you're watching this video and you're like, what the heck is send later? Let me answer that question for you. I'm going to take you into this invoice. You have everything you need on the right hand side of your screen. You're going to click on scheduling. You're going to scroll down and you're going to toggle send later. From here, you do not review and send. If you click on review and send, it's going to send it now. You're just going to say, I want to send this later. So you do that and then you'll go um, save and close. By the way, if you don't see this little like thing on the right hand side, the way to get that to appear is to click on this gear that says manage. Now it'll appear. OK, so I'm going to do a save and close to get to the sales transactions where I'm looking at all this. Let me just take you to the dashboard so we're not looking at it. If you're not sure how to get to your sales transactions, on the left hand side of your screen, you'll select sales. In the pop out menu, you'll come down to all sales. You got all sales on the top. If you're looking at something else, totally fine. Just click on all sales. That brings you right back to where we started, which is filtering for send later. What the send later lacks is some sort of calendar, some sort of automation for it to actually send later. I could never trust myself to do this. I will 100% forget. Let me go ahead and send the invoice. The way I'm going to send it is just click the drop down to the right of receive payment and then click on send. It's going to go to Rachel plus demo. I, I did that because I wanted to see it show up in my email differently than if I just did Rachel at. So I'll say send. It's no longer sitting here in send later. This was difficult for me to find. Um, it was actually my VA who poked around. She found it and she's like, Rachel, there's a really tiny drop down you have to click on. And I'm like, oh, who knew? If you're struggling with this like I am, could I encourage you to click on the give feedback button in the upper right hand corner and just provide into it some feedback about what you'd like to see different or what's not working for you? Um, I'll be doing that outside of this call. Specifically, I'd like the send later to be bigger. And then also when I'm looking at that invoice, let me take you back to it. The thing that that I would like and that Jess and I were talking about is how great would it be when you select send later, the little calendar could appear like, wouldn't that be nice? There's a feedback button in the upper right hand corner. If you'd like to suggest any feedback, whether it's mine or something of your choosing, I think into it would love to hear from us about things that can make the product better. All right. Any questions, video suggestions, leave them below. Thanks.